Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shankar De. In this video, we are going to discuss onion skin appearance in pathology or medicine. So, we will discuss various electron microscopic images, biopsy image and extra image for onion skin appearance in pathology or medicine. So, let's discuss our first image. This is one X-ray image. This X-ray image is showing onion skin peel appearance. So, this is X-ray image. Here you can see there is layering like onion peel, onion skin. So, this is onion peel appearance. This is onion peel appearance. So, this appearance is seen characteristically in one type of bone tumor that is nothing but Young sarcoma. So, that is sorry Young sarcoma. So, in case of Young sarcoma this onion this onion skin appearance is seen. What is the reason behind this onion skin appearance? This is seen because of periosteal reaction. So, periosteal periosteal reaction causes this type of finding in x-ray in young sarcoma periosteal reaction because of periosteal reaction there is formation of layers of this layers of this subperisteal bone and this causes this layering so that is why this type of x-ray which are seen in onion skin peel appearance in Young sarcoma because of periosteal reaction resulting in formation of layers of new subperiosteal bone. Another similar x ray image of long bone here you can see there is onion skin, skin peeling on the both side of the long bone. Here you can see the layering of the uh, onion skin peel appearance of the bone. So, this is also suggestive of Young sarcoma. Okay, next coming to Another image, our second image, this is biopsy image, hematoxylin and eosin stain image. This H and E, hematoxylin and H e stain image is showing onion skin peel appearance in this region. So, this is nothing but kidney biopsy. This is one specimen of kidney biopsy. Here you can see the glomerulus. So, this is glomerulus and this is uh, this is artery and here you can see uh, the vascular smooth muscle proliferations around the artery. So, this is nothing but hyperplastic arteriosclerosis, hyperplastic arteriosclerosis. In case of hyaline arteriosclerosis, you will find hyaline like material around the artery. But in case of hyperplastic arteriosclerosis, you will find this type of onion skin peel appearance like here in this region onion skin peel appearance so this is suggestive of malignant hypertension so in case of malignant hypertension there is hyperplastic arteriosclerosis so in this kidney biopsy is suggestive of malignant hypertension resulting in malignant nephrosclerosis next coming to another biopsy image this biopsy image is showing Again, onion skin appearance. This, here is onion skin appearance. This is one arterial biopsy image of patient with scleroderma. So, patient with scleroderma. In case of scleroderma, this type of hyperplastic arteriosclerosis is also seen. Arterial onion skin lesion is also seen in case of scleroderma because of excessive smooth muscles proliferation or sclerosis. So, this is onion skin peel appearance of artery in patient with scleroderma. Next coming to another biopsy image, hematoxylin and eosin stain image. As you can easily understand, this is the biopsy image of liver. So, hematoxylin and eosin stain, liver biopsy. This liver biopsy image is also showing onion skin appearance around this duct this is one duct and around this duct here you can see onion skin peel appearance so this is periductal so periductal onion skin type of fibrosis this duct is bile duct so 
periductal onion skin fibrosis around the bile duct is suggestive of nothing but primary sclerosing cholangitis so this biopsy is suggestive of primary sclerosing cholangitis okay so second image is also same is suggestive of primary sclerosing cholangitis so here also you can see the onion skin peel appearance around this duct so periductal fibrosis suggestive of psc primary sclerosing cholangitis okay coming to the another image as you can see this is not hematoxylin and eosin stain image this is electron microscopic image so this is image of electron microscopy nowadays these images electron microscopic images are very important for exam like INICT so this electron microscopic image is also showing this onion skin appearance so this is suggestive of of this is suggestive of one lysosomal storage disorder that is Tay-Sachs disease so in case of Tay-Sachs disease you will also find this type of onion skin appearance because of deposition or depo because of accumulation of amphiphilic gm2 gangliocide molecule within the aqueous environment of lysozyme so because of accumulation of gm2 gangliocide molecule within the aqueous environment of the lysozyme you will find this type of cytoplasmic membrane like structure like onion skin so this is nothing but suggestive of tay disease one of the lysosomal storage disorder this occurs because of the de enzyme defect hexoaminidase enzyme defect so hexosamine it is enzyme excellent is alpha enzyme defect can cause this disease tay sac disease excellent it is alpha enzyme defect okay so here is another picture of tay sac disease here you can see another typical finding of tay sac disease this is balloon and vacuolated nerve endings so balloon vacuolated nerve ending is also suggestive of tay sac disease in nerve biopsy and this is electron microscopy picture like onion skin in case of Tay-Sachs disease. Next, coming to another uh, nerve biopsy image. So this is nerve biopsy image is suggestive of one disease that shows onion skin appearance. So as you can see here, this is onion skin appearance of nerve biopsy showing onion skin appearance. This is suggestive of CIDP. CIDP full form chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy so chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy so cidp also shows onion skin appearance in nerve biopsy next coming to another image that is also biopsy image this uh, splenic biopsy so this is splenic biopsy this specimen is taken after autopsy from a patient of sle so this is splenic biopsy in a sle patient so sle patient spleen uh, up biopsy after autopsy is showing this onion skin fibrosis around this structure this is artery so this is nothing but peri arteriolar fibrosis so this is peri arteriolar fibrosis is suggestive of sle so this peri arteriolar fibrosis occurs because of vasculitis associated with rheumatic disorder like SLE. So, SLE patient because of this vasculitis, periarticular fibrosis causes this type of features, onion skin appearance. So, this is all about the onion skin appearance. So, let's summarize the let's summarize today's class. So, what is the summary? So, if you see onion skin appearance in X-ray, that is suggestive of immune sarcoma. So, X-ray onion skin suggestive of immune sarcoma but in case of chronic osteomyelitis also immune sarcoma in case of chronic osteomyelitis also you may also find this type of 
features of onion skin because of periosteal reaction okay so young sarcoma or chronic osteomyelitis next coming to hematoxylin and eosin stain it is uh, suggestive of either malignant hypertension malignant hypertension showing hyperplastic arteriosclerosis or psc primary sclerosis cholangitis next coming to the electron microscopic features of nerve fibers is suggestive of tay sac disease one type of lysosomal storage disorder tay sac disease nerve biopsy so nerve biopsy suggestive of cidp chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy and gross features autopsy patient is splenic biopsy suggestive of sle sle spleen so sple sle patient spleen after autopsy biopsy if you do biopsy then you will find this type of onion skin appearance so this is all about today's class in the next class we are going to discuss various image based question for neat and ini ct so don't forget to subscribe my channel stay tuned for the image based session for all subjects that is very important for neat and ini ct so thank you for watching